Welcome back. In the previous part, I've talked about the passive membrane. The passive membrane corresponds to an RC circuit and is described by a linear differential equation. The passive membrane is a reasonable description for some neuronal properties in the subthreshold regime. However, it cannot account for spike firing. In order to generate spikes, we need to introduce the notion of a threshold. So we have seen a threshold already in a first simple model that I introduced at the beginning of this week, where I said each incoming pulse causes a response, causes a postsynaptic potential. If several pulses arrive one after the other, then these potentials are added. And at some point, if a threshold is reached, an output spike is generated. Now, a simple integrated fire model is our model of a passive membrane combined with a threshold. So we take our model of a passive membrane, which means a linear differential equation, combine it with a threshold, and then we have the leaky integrate and fire model. So here is our RC circuit. Suppose a pulse comes in, a pulse corresponds to a short current pulse onto the RC circuit. If several pulses come in, then we will just add up these individual contributions until a threshold is reached. At this moment, a spike is generated and the membrane potential is reset to a new value. This is for the case of spike input. If spikes correspond to a short current pulse, then each of these linear response functions are just exponential pulses. Now, more generally, I can drive my neuron model also with time-dependent input current. So let's suppose we have some arbitrary time-dependent input current. We would integrate this until the threshold is reached. Afterwards, the membrane potential is reset and the whole process starts again. Now let's focus on one particularly simple case, the situation of a step current input. So we have an input current and this input current is a step. So it's zero for some time and then it switches to a new value, which I call I0. Let's suppose that by a suitable mathematical transformation, I've removed the resting potential and set it to zero. So up to time t naught, we would be at a value of zero. Now we know that a step current input will cause a convergence to a new value, for example, this value here, with some time constant tau that corresponds to the time constant of the RC circuit. So for this value of I0, the, th the voltage U never reaches the, reaches the threshold value theta. Now let's take a bigger value of the input current, in which case the trajectory may look like this, and then it would converge to a new stationary value. However, because of the threshold, it cannot converge to its new stationary value, but it, the neuron will fire at this point here. This is the moment of the output spike, and in this moment in time, we reset the membrane potential to a new value, which I call UR. UR can be at the resting value of zero, it can be below, it could also be above. And now the whole process starts again, it's the same current, the current continues. So the current again tries to approach its stationary value, but again it hits the threshold and it's reset 
and again the whole process continues. Thus, for a constant input current, we can expect that this leaky integrant fire model will fire regularly. Its trajectory approaches the threshold, its reset, it approaches the threshold, its reset, approaches the threshold, is reset, and so forth. If I increase the current, then the approach to the threshold is faster, the slope is higher, therefore the uh, threshold is approached more quickly, and therefore if I look at the distance, at the interval between two spikes, here I have a large interval, for a bigger current I have a shorter interval. Instead of plotting the interval, I plot 1 over t. For periodic fire, the neuron enters into a regime of periodic firing. It has a fixed firing frequency defined as one of the period. One of the period. Now, for a low current, I zero. This is my firing frequency. For larger current, I one. It's a different firing frequency. If I repeat this kind of argument for other values of the current, I would construct a plot which gives the frequency as a function of the constant input current. Now this is the frequency current relation or the Fi curve, also called the gain function of the neuron. So we have seen in part 1.2 that for a passive membrane we can calculate mathematically the response to a step current. We can now use this solution to calculate the period of firing or the frequency of firing of a periodically firing leaky integrated fire model. And this is what I would like you to do next. Take the solution of the step current, calculate the time between two firings, the interval capital T, look at the frequency defined as 1 over T, and write down this frequency as a function of the constant input. In short, the question is, what is the frequency current curve of the leaky integrated fire model?